Good evening. And welcome back to French TV's review of the Halloween franchise for the month of Shocktober. Now tonight, we will be reviewing from 1989, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. The movie begins with Myers escaping death once again, only to become comatose for exactly one year, where upon awakening, he continues his murderous rampage in search of his niece, Jamie Lloyd, who now is mute due to psychological trauma and under the watchful eye of Dr. Samuel Loomis at the Haddonfield Children's Clinic. Also, Jamie exhibits signs of a telepathic link to her evil uncle, Michael. Drunk off the success of Halloween 4, as quoted by executive producer Mustafa Akkad, Halloween 5 was rushed into production without even having a solid script. Now, returning to the cast are, of course, the always incredible Donald Pleasance as Dr. Samuel Loomis. Daniel Harris as Jamie Lloyd, Bo Starr as Sheriff Meeker, and of course Ellie Cornell as Rachel Carruthers, who is killed by Myers in the first 20 minutes of the film, which is a shame because I enjoyed her character very much and thought she was a great successor to Jamie Lee Curtis. Otherwise, the rest of the new characters are pretty forgettable. Now, directing this time around is Frenchman Dominique Authenant Gerard, and writing the <coughs> script is Michael Jacobs. Now, in the original draft, written by Shim Bitterman, it had called for Jamie to turn evil after stabbing her stepmother to death. But the idea was quickly rejected by a cod, fearing low box office attendance and a fan backlash for not having Myers in the film. Also, it was decided that Myers be played by a different stunt actor, Don Shanks, whose portrayal of the shape is quite lacking. Furthermore, the atmosphere and suspense is not there, as in the previous films. Now, Alan Holworth returns for the soundtrack, which is always amazing. Now, the only really redeeming quality of this movie are the performances of Daniel Harris and Donald Pleasance. Harris is brilliant and so believable, you really feel for her character. And Pleasance is even more intense than ever. Now, new to the Halloween storyline is the appearance of the mysterious man in black. No, not Johnny Cash. Or Tommy Lee Jones. No, the guy who is following Michael Myers. In one scene, we see the mysterious man actually kick a little boy's dog. What a Also, it is the first time that we will see the mystical Thorn rune symbol. But we'll be getting to that later in the next episode. As for this film, Low Atmosphere. Shoddy story and directing, great soundtrack, and brilliant acting from Harris and Pleasance, who really saved this film. I give this movie two pumpkins out of five. I won't spoil the end for you, but Michael Myers has escaped more times than Houdini. <laughs> well, tune in again next time. We will be reviewing a uh, double feature of sorts, both from 1995. First, Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, and Halloween 666, The Origin of Michael Myers. But until then, this is the Count saying, Igor! You scared the crap out of me! Sorry, Master. You know how jumpy I am after all this Michael Myers business. Now let me do this again. But until next time, this is the Count Talent Igor.
I told you to knock it off. Ah, 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 Michael. Oh, ah, 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 No, Michael Myers is in the police's hands. Ugh. So until next time, this is the Count saying, What the? <laughs> <laughs>